Let's uh, get more now on this story and the troubles that beset COPE. And uh, we are joined by its uh, co-founder, former uh, member of this party, Mbazi Mashiloa, who speaks to us from Johannesburg. Mr. Shiloa, thank you very much for your time. What's your assessment of what is troubling COPE right now? Well, I, I don't know what exactly is new in what is happening in COPE because some of the issues that Madisha, Seko and um, Bloom are raising were the same issues that we raised in 2010 and 2011 mm -hmm. when we said that uh, it's important that we have internal democracy in the organizations, that we ensure that there are no parallel structures at that time, uh, they, together with Mr. Lekota, uh, played a big role in collapsing two congresses because they didn't believe in the need to be able to have uh, elections. Mm. So, yes, it is said that it has come to this, but it was always inevitable. Organizations become stronger through political internal democracy, including contestations, yeah. they become weak the minute we begin to believe that only one person and or a small group of people can be the savior for the organization. We'll talk about internal democracy and whether or not it is perhaps what has failed COPE. But let's talk about the quote-unquote hostile takeover you write about this morning in an article you have penned, who was at the center of this hostile takeover in the formative years of this party? Well, I use the hostile takeover because I was really writing more in a satirical uh, form. Mm. But the point I'm making is that instead of us having a Congress and then electing a leadership in 2010, what Mr. Lekota, Mr. Dexter, Madisha, and others did was to simply purge everyone who was calling for meetings of the organization who was wanting there to be democracy. And then, having purged all of those people, the organization never moved to a Congress itself. I mean, it's now 15 years since the formation of the Congress of the People. And and if you listen to Mr. Lekota yesterday, mm. he says that uh, if the organizations want him to stay on as president, he is going to do so because in any case, people who retire tend to die. So I call it a hostile takeover simply in the sense that instead of working with everybody who came together to form that party, we had agreed that there will be elections and a Congress within two years. They kept all of those people uh, out of the organization. Mr. Shilowa, it is your argument, is it not, that Mosiwa Lekota is and has always been the lowest common denominator when it comes to leadership troubles at the Congress of the People. If indeed I am hearing you correctly, do you think he does have the strength to take this party forward, given some of what he revealed yesterday, that he has just re recovered from cancer? Well, I, I think for me, uh, people should not use his age and or illness uh, to judge whether he can be able to lead the organization or not. So I don't use those. Mm. I simply say that the results never lie. In 2008-9, that election of 2019, when all of us were there, when there was unity, when there was no paging of the organization, when he was out at the head office 
and we were out in, in Parliament, we received 37 uh, seats uh, in Parliament. We were the official opposition in six uh, uh, provinces. Fast forward to once everybody else has been patched, to 2014, four seats. 2019, two seats. And I'm not one uh, for prophecy, but it, it can only be downhill all the way. <laughs> if it's downhill all the way, the faction that wants to lead the party right now, led by uh, Willy Matisha, are there any bright ideas that you think could come from that faction if indeed Mosiwa Lekota is perhaps on his way out? No, I don't think so. Because if you listen to what uh, Madisha them have been saying, they have not said, look, here are the problems in the organization. This is where it has lost its way. And therefore, if we were to take over, and I'm not in favor of any takeover of the organization. I think that uh, if I were in Madisa's position mm -hmm. and Lekota's position, I would say to them, guys, let's bring forward the National Congress, which is due for next year. Let the membership, to an extent that it exists, be the one that decides who should be leading, be leading the organization. I think to simply remove Lekota by a motion of no confidence, have him replaced by others, they'll face a similar situation of legitimacy. Legitimacy only comes through the Congress. So I don't hear them saying, this is what we will do. These are new policies, ideology that we will help put forward. I mean, just, just take this example. Mm. They sit in coalition in uh, Tswane with uh, the DA. They, they are in coalition with the DA in Johannesburg. Yesterday, they, they voted with the, with the ANC. I've got no doubt that the other parties will also say, well, you need to move out as a speaker in, uh, in Swane. So it will also mean they themselves, there's no stability uh, in there. So, but, but to be, to be, to be fair, I would not use uh, age and illness uh, for that situation. I would rather say he has not been able to bring the organization up once more. And that the best way to do it is to go to a Congress. Let the Congress decide. Mr. Shlua, perhaps one way to revive this party would be to inject some new blood or perhaps young blood. I know you have to go, but I'd like for you to just have a listen to this very quickly, and I'll let you go once you have shared your thoughts. I had a conversation with uh, William Matisha. It was in September last year, and the question had to do with whether or not COPE has a youth structure. I'd like you to listen uh, to what he had to say at that time. So, so COPE yeah. has a, a youth structure? We have a youth movement. Who leads that youth movement? We have a youth movement. Who's the leader of the youth movement? Of the youth movement. Yes. Ms. Yasanga, she's in uh, the Eastern Cape. Okay. Does Yasanga have a surname? Ms. Yasanga? Yes. She's, in the, she's a member of council. Does she have a surname? So oh, of know course, of look course. For. Of course, she has a surname. Yes. Uh, you have a surname. Uh, all the people here have surnames. All the people, you know, on Mother Earth have uh, surnames. So how is it that you don't know your youth leader's surname? Uh, look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you, you have it there, you know. Uh, we have hundreds of thousands of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, members. Like I'm saying, she is a councillor at Nelson Mandela uh, uh, Municipality, okay? She occupies an MMC uh, uh, seat uh, there. So, so we are fine. And uh, we have the uh, women as well, uh, structure, they are going on. So, like I'm saying... Uh, we have now come back, we have resuscitated, uh, like you said mm. earlier, uh, we were on leave. That was uh, because of the problems that were there. Yes. But then uh, we have resuscitated ourselves, we are there. Out of the 14 
uh, parties at parliament, mm -hmm. once he's there, of course, mm -hmm. uh, I can say to you that we are on track. We are on course. Mm -hmm. We are moving forward. Mr. Shiloh, I hope you have heard at least some of that. It is my assumption that Mr. Matisha struggled to tell us whether or not the party has any credible youth structures. The young people who were involved in fisticuffs yesterday, they said that they were uh, young people who were leading the youth of this party. If COPE does not have a legitimate youth structure, does it have any hopes of survival? No, it doesn't have, and that's really very bad because it did have, at the time, a very vibrant young people, uh, Naba Banga, uh, Anelem Da, Malusi Boy. Uh, these were some of the people who were there keeping the organization of the youth alive. But again, you know, because of the actions, those people uh, left, Naba Banga is with the DA, uh, and so is Malusi Boy, and Anale went to the ANC, is now sort of like, you know, doing her own things. So no, I don't think that they are young people. You know, Koli, I know your Shitsonga is not very good, <laughs> but if you read in that piece, this is what I say towards the end, mm. that Batsonga would say, Lokuiwele ariweni, so answer kuyetis. Which is really more about Mano Ubangaba Iwile Iwele Ewen my valent meeting a mess because it's very clear I saw the Puma foot. Hi. Oi to be Lebao. Thank you very much. At least the, the last part I did hear. <laughs> That's closer. Thank you very much for your time, Bazi Bashilowa, a co founder of the Congress of the People, reflecting on a party that he says it's downhill from here on.